Hi everyone, in this uh, video is going to be about AI and basically using Photoshop's new feature that allows you to expand uh, upon uh, empty areas uh, for an image and filling them with content, visual content. In this case, uh, we're going to use uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is the original box art. Um, and we're going to use this feature in Adobe Photoshop and try to expand around this uh, uh, visual element to see what we can actually create with some really interesting and fun prompt. Basically, text which I tell Photoshop what I wanted to expand creatively with. Now, the way it's done, just a small demonstration. Uh, you can see that I can choose the crop tool and then I can expand to the direction. The, the area that you see in white uh, will be filled based on either you can just create generate and it will use the, the image to try to expand it and create a continuum extension of, of the image or you can provide your own input uh, what you want to see. Keep in mind that the areas, the area itself of the image won't be effective, only things around it. And of course it will be seamless. So this is just one result as you can see. It's a Victorian old town. Uh, it gives you actually different options for you to choose from, three of them, so you can choose uh, different variations. Of course, I can cut the image in different ways and leave some more parts that I want to fill in, but again, this is just one example. Uh, keep in mind, you can also use other tools like Mid Journey, which in my opinion provide much better results uh, overall. Uh, so here are some of the results uh, that I did uh, with different input. Uh, this is kind of a wintry uh, storm, this western town. This is, uh, well, Halloween. <laughs> Again, keep in mind the box image itself is as it is and just build things seamlessly around it. This is actually really beautiful. Uh, this is uh, kind of an old town. This is kind of celestial objects. Uh, yeah, nice, huh? Look at that. This is really beautiful with ocean and ships. And look at the grass. And this is kind of an island. And a kind of a vampire castle at the background. Ocean with flying sharks. That's actually was pretty terrible, to be honest. Uh, but in by the way, me journey turned out to be much, much better. This is uh, Egypt with the pyramids. Theme park. Monkeys! How can you not put monkeys prompt? Come on. <laughs> it's weird. It's gonna get better in time. This is, by the way, if you put it on the left and extend it to the right to create a more panoramic image, for example. You don't have to put it in the middle, of course. So I try different things. Looks really nice. This is just me getting a bit crazy with dinosaurs and and kaijus and all this stuff. Again, it has a nice space. So you see it's actually created to fit the aspect ratio of the image. So yeah, keep in mind, uh, there are other ones like Midjourney that in my opinion does a much better job. Uh, so you can try it out, but it's paid one. Uh, but I think there's a beta, you can actually use it for free to a limited time. But overall, it's a really fun feature which will just get better in time. And this is just me using it in Photoshop and having fun with it. I just want to show you again, this is from the official Adobe website. Again, this is from September 13th, 2023. Expanded dimension of your image, generate content with simple text prompts using generative expand in Photoshop on the desktop. Now available in the public Photoshop desktop app, which is great. I, I was using be the beta before that, and um, uh, again, these are all Firefly powered features, and they're going to add more, and I'm really excited to try them out. Um, I was using Firefly, but again, this is inside Photoshop. I always wanted things to be inside Photoshop, because again, of the you know design workflow to have really unique tools, AI powered tools, so you can work and use them in your creative workflow. Yeah, so this is about it. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, yeah, and having fun with it as a game. We're just enjoying expanding upon games cover art. Yeah, and this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Give a like, subscribe maybe. More cool stuff are coming, more creative stuff. I hope you enjoy it. Give a like if you did. Thanks for watching.